Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> it's Stephanie here with Creating Within, and this is my best friend, Susie. Hi world. <laughs> this is Susie. I've talked about her in my post before. Um, and I decided I wanted to do a personal inner world vlog journal entry, but in video form. Um, because I've had such an amazing weekend, and my best friend is here visiting me from Miami, which is amazing and rare because I don't always get to see her, but... My best friend is the type of person who follows her urges. You know what I you know what I um came up with while I was writing while you were doing laundry? What? <laughs> so I realized, you know what's awesome about you? That you get these impulses when you get a desire. And oh, and you, I have to follow through. And you through. just follow through with it. You may not have a lot of desires. <laughs> but no, but when I get the impulse, it needs to be done and I'm not happy until it is. Yes. She makes a decision. Like so, a two hundred dollar flight that's already paid for. Yes, she makes a decision. She calls me like on Tuesday or something last week, and she's like, "Oh, so I think I'm just gonna go up and visit you for your birthday." Okay, okay. A flight for two hundred dollars. Why not? She hangs up the phone. Thirty minutes later, sends me a text for her flight information. Uh huh. Sounds about right. And then the Thursday, I said, "My husband's sick." Um, I'm gonna come a day earlier just so I don't get sick. Which, which is her weird side coming in. So she she already paid two hundred dollars for her flight to be here on Friday night, but now she didn't want to get sick. But so I'm she, sick now. <laughs> I still say it's allergies. <laughs> and she pays two hundred extra dollars to come a day earlier, mm -hmm. so she comes Thursday night, which actually worked out. But anyways, we're rambling. Mm -hmm. But that's what this video is about, because it's about our inner world. Mm -hmm. So Susie came to surprise me, and I have to just say how blessed I am to have a friend like her that would just fly out to see me on for my birthday. <laughs> and I or, mean, I try to every other birthday. Or, or any other time that you just have an, have an impulse that you miss me that much. <laughs> it's my spiritual retreat. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, babe. It's been really, really great. So, one of the reasons why I'm sharing this with you guys and I want to do a video is because today, my best friend surprised me with an amazing gift. Um, <laughs> we went to have brunch and our other, my other best friend from Atlanta, <coughs> who they connected four years ago when I met Trang, mm -hmm. and we've become, I knew that we would all come together. So we're like a little, um, I wasn't going to say threesome, it sounds weird, but a <laughs> A little tribe. <laughs> We're a little tribe. We're a little trio <laughs> within yeah. this core. And we went to have brunch together today, Trang, Susie, and I. And I didn't expect it to be about my birthday, even though my like that's the reason why she was here. I was just happy to have my familiar here, to have Trang, and to just connect with everybody we've been connecting with um, because it feeds our soul. And it's like, coming home, 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 oh, let me feed. <laughs> So, Susie gave me the most thoughtful gift, and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's just fucking awesome. <laughs> Susie, can you do the honors? Yes. This is what she did. So, she she opened the card and she read it to me, and I had to open the gift. Right. Exactly. Um, all right. Okay, so I opened the gift. This is the card. And I had her open the gift, and while she was opening the gift, I was reading to her. And I said, happy birthday to my bestie. This year is going to be... <laughs> <clears throat> this year is going to be full of new surprises and journeys. I wanted you to have a few things on your journey. An eraser to make all the past and future mistakes disappear. A dime so you will never be completely broke. A marble... For those days you've lost yours. An elastic band to help you stretch beyond your limits. A paper clip to hold it all together when it seems to be falling apart. A hug and a kiss to remind you that you are loved. And most of all, I give you my blessings to follow your heart's desires. I surround you with positive energy so all them bleeping haters can go bleep off. <laughs> Lastly, my guiding light for those nights that you feel lost or like giving up. Think of your bestie and how she's banking on your future success. LOL. <laughs> 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 Laugh and cry. <laughs> Had to throw that.
that in there. <laughs> Literally wrote, had to throw that in there. Um, I love you, my bestie, and I wish you the best birthday. Follow your heart at all times. And when things look impossible, remember beyond the impossibilities are all the possibilities. Happy birthday. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was such an awesome gift. <clears throat> I felt like you needed this reminder. And I actually found someone who wrote something not as drastic as I did, because I do things drastically, but drastic. Uh, back December 1st and I was actually going to send this to you for Christmas and it didn't feel right so I waited and I waited and I waited and I started accumulating the things together and I found the box I wanted to use and I felt like with this journey that you're about to take you needed a few things that can go through airport security <laughs> <laughs> to remind you that there's purpose to what you're doing and you're going to find that purpose and we're going to enjoy every moment of it because while you have your purpose I also have mine that's coming into place as well and you're not going to be here for it so it was something like I needed I needed you to know that you're loved in every aspect and when things feel like they're getting hard or you feel trapped, that you, you gotta hold it together. And emailing you and Facebooking you is going to suck instead of picking up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and it's, it's gonna be difficult. And that's how I felt. I had to put myself in your shoes and go on this journey without having to go on it and say to myself, what's going to make me feel like I'm at home even when I'm not at home? And I and I happened to come across that when I asked that question. And I was like, this is perfect. Yeah, and it absolutely is. I, I just, I, whoever wrote this on Pinterest, thank you. <laughs> I improvised. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was very powerful. This is, because I definitely can take this with me. And it's such an awesome reminder. And in case you didn't notice, the box has a little key on it. I did. I noticed it has two. So you can always unlock your future and close your past. I'm telling you, this full thought. I'm a detailed-oriented person. This is my past. This is my future. Yeah. My future is in the box. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> no. But most Honestly. of all, if you don't want to take the box, you can just take the card and just remind yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the card just with you. <laughs>